Well, hello. Oh everybody. my god, sweet babies. As many of you know, one of our all-time favorite playthroughs, slash not favorite playthroughs, was Doki Doki Literature Club. And we realized that the entire thing had been a setup uh, for a psychological horror. Yes. And um, it haunted me for weeks, months, perhaps years. Mm -hmm. uh, I've never been able to relax while playing a dating sim again. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Are we getting into like Doki Doki Literature Club time? Strange things are about to happen in this game. Beware. Uh-oh. Where's Rudolph? I grilled and ate him. Tasted like tears. What? Oh, please. God, don't let this be another horror game. <laughs> Dang. Are we Doki Doki Literature panicking ourselves? Man, that's our first stab to death Japanese schoolgirl on this show since, uh... Doki Doki, Doki Doki Literature Club. Mm. Time to flip over the counter at our office. Now, here we are, years later, uh, some DLC came out for it. Mm -hmm. And Dan Salvato, the creator, uh, has told us, excuse the, the spoilers, but this is just for some context of where we're coming from and so expectations can be uh, fulfilled right. off the bat. Um, he's told us there's no uh, explicit horror in this DLC. It's mm -hmm. more to get to know the characters a little bit more and um, experience some of what they're feeling and all of that. Um, and we assume he's telling the truth with that. <laughs> yeah. Th Here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> We're back in Doki Doki, baby. My life was so different last time. Here we go. Uh, uh. Okay, everyone. <laughs> Here we go. The Literature Club is starting. But before she realizes it, the recent nights of staying up too late start to catch up to her. It's so quiet, and the noise of the air conditioner is soothing. <laughs> it's one of those air conditioners that has like something loose in there, so it's like K -k -dunk! Yeah. <laughs> K -k -k -dunk! I'm super sorry. It was like so unprofessional of me to do that. Don't apologize. I do that all the time. Apologize, I mean. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. And sleep. In fact, I'm Sayari, and that's where I get my name. <laughs> sorry, I did that. I'm sorry that this isn't like a real club yet. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. <gasps> We're debating. <laughs> <laughs> is this a debate club? <laughs> did I hear debate club? <laughs> like everyone comes in. <laughs> Whoa, is the debate club here? <laughs> oh no. Let me help you turn something stressful into something fun. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, did, did I definitely that didn't the try to use the uh, fart soundboard, <laughs> and it, it failed on me. Oh, what what a huge disappointment in my life. <laughs> no, it's okay. If nothing else, I'm good at that. So. <laughs> we could go home and try to come up with some new ideas to recruit club members. I can do that. What is this like a cult? We just don't do anything except recruit people. Cool. I'm gonna think really hard tonight about how to get more people. <laughs> 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 yes, me too. I will also think about getting more people. How to get more people. Get people. <laughs> Sayori spins over to Monica <laughs> and deposits the sheet into Monica's desk. Oh, what's this? Oh my god. It's a little poem I wrote. Here I go. Get the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> it took me all night! Oh geez, I'm getting distracted. My programming is telling me to poop. <laughs> do you want to go over this recruitment brainstorm together? Yes, I'll sit down. Get the fuck up! Okay, sorry, I'll get up! <laughs> My brainstormed so hard! <laughs> a vision for the club. Okay, Sayori, pretend you're a normal person for a second. Wait, I don't mean it like that. Shutting down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm normal. Express yourself. Be who you want to be. Make new friends. Discover a new you. <laughs> Farted a little. Mm. Accessing heart.exe. <laughs> wow, that's lame. Monica. Ah! Oh. Aaron, did something just happen? Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, screensaver just oh, okay. went on. Oh, thank God. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> like, all the com all the capture equipment just went dark, and I was like, no! Yeah, it just went into power My perfectly and... blazed fart sounds and Limp biscuit quotes! <laughs> we're really going to make the best of this club. I will kill you last. <laughs> <laughs> so I consider you're the only person here. <laughs> also first. Did Sayori leave this behind? 
I hope it doesn't have her homework in it. Worried, Monica opens the folder to check. Poems. <laughs> My one weakness. <laughs> it's a folder of poems. No! <laughs> Every day I pluck some flowers as though they grew just for me. A lifetime of peace and nourishment yanked away in an instant. All for me. All for joy. I need more. <laughs> I need more joy. I need more happy. <laughs> pluck, pluck, pluck. Every day. Pluck, pluck, pluck. So pretty in my hair. So pluck, pluck, pluck. You're going to die and you too. Oh my god. Salvato. Theory is gorgeous. He's kind of feeling that I'm going for me instead of the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of president yeah, does it? Yeah, <laughs> it's so much fun. <laughs> Monica massages her forehead, or her own forehead. Right. Str <laughs> Wait, stop! What is the, what is this? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Struggling through the frustration of such a paradox. It's understandable that Sayori isn't ready to share certain things, but as unfair as it is for Monica to pry, it's also painful for Monica to force herself to ignore the needs of her friend. I'm sorry I looked. It's our vision. Univision. Right the right the way into your heart. Or whatever. So I just want you to promise me that you'll remember that you <laughs> It doesn't have to be right now, but I want to be here for you when you need it. I want us to be ourselves. Like that. Sayori smiles gently. <laughs> <laughs> I'll promise if you promise. Well, I'll promise if you promise. I'll promise if you promise to promise my promise. Well, I'll promise if you promise to promise that promise that you promised to earlier about the promise. <laughs> promise. <laughs> I promise. Me too. Me three. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Brune Helga. <laughs> Did somebody say literature club? <laughs> Yay! The end. <laughs> I'd have to really try. I'd have to try really, really, really hard at it. Really? But I think it's really that I'll be enjoy doing soon. With you, really? Sorry, Beams. I'll stop here. <laughs> but we still have time. When I beam, I shoot laser beams. <laughs> <laughs> if only this was the flyer we gave to that one reading girl the other day. It's so much more attractive than the old one. But the new catchphrase is fe clear featured clearly in the center of the flyer. <laughs> <laughs> the literature club is truly beginning to take form. We started with two and now we are two. <laughs> the air conditioner seems louder today. Oh, it is. I'm here! Hi. In the air conditioner! <laughs> That's why it's louder! Help! <laughs> <laughs> so cold! I have this problem where I get really upset when people worry too much about me. I can't control it. It's like, why waste your energy worrying about me when you can just be happy instead? So I never tell anyone about these kinds of thoughts that I have. It's so much easier to just smile and help everyone else be happy. Nah, girl. Mm-mm. But, 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 that's ter- terrible! That's what Monica wants to say, but she stops herself in fear of saying the wrong thing. And letting people look inside my head doesn't bring happiness to anyone. It would bring happiness to me. <laughs> how did you find the courage to tell me this? Tell me, how did you do it? <laughs> You're not worried. You're, You're not- have five seconds <laughs> to comply. <laughs> Just like her whole hand turns into- <laughs> You're not, what, four seconds. You're not worried that I'll be three seconds. One of those people, too. It's so silly. The club is only two people, but it already means this much to me. Oh, thanks for reminding me it's only two people. Monica feels a tightening sensation in her heart. A feeling of connection as Sayori's emotions radiate between them. Me, too. I was so lost until you showed up. You're so brave, Sayori. You're so strong and brave. You are brave and strong. You're so strong, Sayori. I don't even compare. You are so brave. Your strongness is only outweighed by your bravery, <laughs> which is only outweighed by your strength. <laughs> Aww. Wow. Monica realizes that all of the days that have passed, this is the one where she really, really hopes that nobody new walks through the door. Broom Hilda! <laughs> <laughs> Hola! I think the Smiths are really fucking overrated. Like, everybody likes them, and I think they're shitty. Sorry, this was the wrong line to do that on. <laughs> I didn't look up at the screen. <laughs> These are the moments where I feel kind of bad 
about picking such a dumb voice for this oh, character. Yeah. But, you gotta commit. I don't want to have these thoughts. I want them to go away. And now I'm making you put up with me and I just want to die. Even if we never go, got any other members, I would still be happy. <laughs> hey guys! Broomhilda, get the fuck out of here. Well, I won't make you do any uh, work today if you're not up for it. No, I want to. Sleep and eat, I mean. <laughs> I mean, I can say that it's definitely one thing that makes me happy. Monica smiles. But I might want to get a snack first. All of a sudden, the sound of the door causes the two of them to turn their heads. Broom him! <laughs> Hola! It's Yuri! She's so alive! <laughs> Fred, am I in the wrong place? Yes. No, you're not. This is the uh, literature club. Please come inside. The girl fully steps to the door but continues standing against the wall, avoiding eye contact. Sayori continues to fail, containing her excitement. <laughs> <laughs> get, get away from the wall! <laughs> it's happening! Oh my gosh! Well, that's my character. Oh, is it? I, I appreciate your excitement. What's your name, by the way? <laughs> Storing for future files of kill. <laughs> I'd like to join your club. I'd like to join your club.exe. <laughs> that is your name. I'm so happy I found this club. Oh, I'm so stupid. I left all my other books in my locker. I should have brought them. So stupid, I could just stab myself. <laughs> <laughs> she makes her way back over to Sayori and sets the book down on her desk. The desk cracks in half, falls through the floor. <laughs> it continually falls through every floor of the school. <laughs> the janitor in the basement's like, ah! <laughs> Monica came into my classroom and put the flyer on my desk. <laughs> Monica! Monica. Monica. <laughs> Monica! <laughs> Monica. Suddenly, Yuri's face darkens and she shakes her head at herself. Monica. It's so hard to find others who are into the same things that I am, except online. So I thought the literature club would provide a chance for me to do that. <laughs> Have you ever heard of QAnon? <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> I belong to a group that believes Clifford the Big Red Dog is our lord and savior. So I have to share something that I'm into now, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um... Well, I guess I'm into nature. And the way that weather is controlled by thought. <laughs> I love nature! Have you ever heard of chemtrails? <laughs> Monica, I'm gonna start a nature club! No, you're not. You're stuck. <laughs> <laughs> you're stuck here with me now. I'm not. R2. <laughs> you're stuck in here with me. <laughs> How are you feeling about starting the book with her next meeting? I'm kind of scared, but I think she'll be happy as long as I'm trying my best. Cut to, I'm miserable. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> Fade to black. Then the apocalypse happens. I happened. swear to God, man, I can't. Like waiting for a like a horrific turn that isn't gonna happen mm -hmm. is almost worse than anything else. <laughs> it's club time again. <laughs> 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 Thought it was weird. I was just me, right? Monica comes out of the closet with like a sock full of soap God, bars. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about yesterday. Remember when we became friends and I offered to help you read a book? That was the worst. Yeah, sorry about that. Really inconvenienced everyone, didn't it? Seemed I? really happy. It was awful. <laughs> Monica and I have just been working on recruitment stuff mostly. So it just sounded like something fun that we could do together, reading your books. Yeah. This this club operates more like a cult than anything. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> well, I'm not used to having company through this, but I'll try to help make it as accessible as possible. I trust you. You're like super smart. You can't generalize intelligence. I'm only smart in the things I have a lot of experience with. All right. Just take the fucking compliment. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Accept the gift. <laughs> Contrarily, I'm awful at anything involving real people. Oh my God. Is this going to be every fucking literature club? After the minor diversion between them, the two get back on track with their planned club activity. <laughs> oh. Yuri begins to guide Sayori through the basics of the fantasy world her story takes place in. Ow. I have Clifford the Big Red Leg Welt. <laughs> okay, chapter one. The room becomes silent as the two of them begin to read. But the silence only lasts for a moment before Sayori speaks up again. I hate reading! 
I think we can stop here for now. Okay. Okay. Page one. I'll just put this bookmark in. We can continue tomorrow, right? No, you've upset me. Yuri pauses, then shakes her head. Yuri pauses, then shakes her head. We can do something else tomorrow. But hey. I'm sorry. Wait, sorry for what? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, I, this is like a competition to see who's more sorry. I don't get trust you with this. I ruined it. Now our cult will never reach ascension. <laughs> <laughs> was it really because I thought she thought I wasn't enjoying our time together? I mean, I wasn't, but I thought I was doing a good job convincing her. But maybe she wasn't enjoying our time together because I'm not good enough. Man, fuck her! <laughs> <laughs> I probably let her down so much by having trouble following along. Yeah, I'm sure if I was smarter, she would be having so much more fun. This is making my head hurt. <laughs> All right. Second part of... Understanding. Understanding? Part, yeah. Yep, okay. part two. Begin this side story. Yes. Begin! <laughs> Fight! Bam, 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 bam. Just the whole time this is playing. Dun, 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 dun. Kano. <laughs> Liu Kang. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Mortal Kombat! <laughs> Johnny Cage. <laughs> <laughs> what did you two end up doing yesterday? Just some reading. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad. It's really starting to feel more like a literature club now. Yeah. yeah, I need to be looking out for everyone. Otherwise, what kind of club would it be? Like, like all clubs, probably. <laughs> I see. Yuri looks a little more relaxed. Good. Her defenses are down. <laughs> Prepare execution.exe. <laughs> it signals to Monica that switching from a sympathetic approach to a pragmatic one was a good choice. Switching modes. <laughs> Seriously. Sayori is too nice to me. I'm so stupid for not realizing that she would just go along with whatever I pushed on to her. I knew she wouldn't understand the ice wall theory. <laughs> I don't even know what that one is. It's so all the water doesn't fall off the side of the flat earth. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Monica looks at Yuri. Yuri only looks down with her fists clenched. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Kano. <laughs> Liu Kang. What's going on? Johnny Cage. <laughs> What kind of friendship has one person always trying to cater to the other person's weird needs? Well, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm making myself sound so- No! I think I'm starting to understand. Monica! <laughs> <laughs> Sub-Zero. <laughs> I didn't mean for this to turn into a whole venting session. But I understand now that I just need to communicate with her. Don't worry, I'm venting all the time. <laughs> Venti complete. For just a moment, Yuri finds it in herself to meet Monica's gaze, returning a shy smile of her own. They kiss? Please. Don't rule 34 this. It already exists, I assure <laughs> mm -hmm. you. Yuri and Monica finish replacing the old flyers with the new ones. Not that I've checked. <laughs> Yuri starts towards the door, but then turns to face Monica. Fuck you, Monica. <laughs> You're not just going to wait outside, are you? Of course. <laughs> I can take a walk. Want me to get you a coffee or something? Actually, I prefer tea. Well, there's just no right answers with you, is there? <laughs> Monica waves at Yuri, then turns around and departs down the hallway as Yuri's smile fade once more. A moment of daydreaming about tea isn't enough to save her from the anxiety of the task that lies before her. Anxiety? <laughs> <laughs> but it must be done. Mortal Kombat! <laughs> do, do you think his wife is constantly like getting annoyed at him because she's just done it for 30 years? <laughs> like, Mortal Jimmy! Sorry. What? No. <laughs> she just gives him the hard stare. Stop! Not at church. <laughs> if anyone has any objections now, speak now or forever hold your peace. Oh, yeah. Jimmy, I swear to God. <laughs> Don't. He, like slowly stands up. <laughs> Jimmy, do you have something to say? <laughs> yes. Amen. I thought that if we did something together that you really like. I don't want your pity! Fred, why did I do that? I don't know, why did you do that? 
Yuri sinks to her knees. Her voice squeaks. I'm sorry. Tears of guilt and self-loathing begin to stream down her face. This isn't how it was supposed to go. She should leave. Just escape from here before Monica sees her like this, and before Sayori tells Monica what she did, and before Monica's like, What the hell did you do? <laughs> but before Yuri could put any strength into her legs, she feels a warm pair of arms gently wrap around her from behind. Monica! <laughs> <laughs> Aww. They're Jax's metal arms. <laughs> <laughs> and a second set of arms. No, it's Kano! <laughs> when you're ready, just tell me your feelings and we'll talk about them together, okay? Yuri sniffles again and nods her head. She gives herself a minute to compose her thoughts, then speaks while steadying her voice. T toasty! <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I catch myself getting overly obsessive in front of other people, it feels like I'm making a fool of myself. Well, you are for the most part. I hate myself for it. Ultimately, I just want to be treated like a normal person, but how am I supposed to expect that when I can't behave like one? I just want to learn how to get along with people and stop ruining things for myself. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> oh, what? Sorry. Sorry? Sorry? <laughs> well, you know. Sorry, my voice changed for a second. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, sorry. <laughs> I wasn't doing an impression of you or anything. Because no way you can frustrate me. Oh, no way you can frustrate me. Because I really like you as the person that you are. <laughs> Your hair is so pretty. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Never mind. No, keep going. Didn't mean to break the mood. <laughs> you didn't ruin anything. <laughs> I was wanted long hair, but I was awful at taking care of it, <laughs> so I cut it all off. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Just ignore that. <laughs> See the screen kind of vibrate, you know? Mmm. <laughs> you always tend to <laughs> <laughs> well, you are relaxed. <laughs> Go ahead, let it all out. <laughs> you know, you really have some pretty good farts. I mean, my farts are better. No, my farts are better. <laughs> 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 I'm back. Oh my god, what is that smell? <laughs> we have explored trust and understanding, and now it is time for respect. R E S P C T. That is how you spell respect. R E S P C T. I spelled respect again. Then <laughs> walks a girl none of them have seen before. So, wait, okay, so, hello, Natsuki. It's great to see you again. I'm Natsuki. I like listening to music and hanging out downtown and stuff. And my favorite ice cream flavor is strawberry. Sometimes I break my own neck and come at you all scary like. <laughs> what kind of literature are you into, Natsuki? Anything you'd like the club to get into? Uh, well, I guess I'm literature. Well, I like manga. Mangoes? <laughs> Y'all. Hey, why'd you say it like that? Hey, I want to read manga in the club! What? <laughs> no, you have to turn up in the club! <laughs> turn up and get crock, I say! I'll do whatever club activities you want! Can I please just join? I don't want- I won't bother anyone! If I can just, like, keep my manga here and hang out after school, I'll do literally whatever you want me to do! I'll fucking paint the walls, pledge my loyalty to Cthulhu! I don't care! Yeah, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. Cthulhu's like, <laughs> Awesome! Oh my god, thank you! You're the best! Cthulhu comes in in the cute little schoolgirl outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's all tell our names first! You first, you go first! <laughs> Cthulhu, huh? Natsuki exits the class or club room, leaving everyone in silence, save for the sound of Yuri sipping her tea. <laughs> Yeah, I am gonna finish that actually, Cthulhu. 
in case it hurts you. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm such a pushover. She said she wasn't going to bother anyone. That includes me, so... Some fucking good you are. Does that mean I bother you? No. You're a pleasure to be around. I'm just gonna look over here <laughs> yeah. and play with my hair nervously. No, you're a pleasure to be around. Yeah. This <laughs> is fishing for a compliment. I really think we should give her a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Stop fishing for compliments, Cthulhu! We gave Cthulhu a chance, and look where we are now! <laughs> He's like chewing on a desk. <laughs> Carrying three boxes of what is presumably my anger. Natsuki grunts and wobbles aside before slowly bending over and dropping the stack onto the floor as gently as she can. There's still one more box! I can put them away myself! I don't know how to organize them! They're all one piece! <laughs> you think they'd come in one piece! <laughs> but there's actually a shit ton of them! <laughs> 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 the teachers are going to ask what all this manga is doing in here, and I have to tell them it's for the literature club, and I don't want to do that because this is the anime club or the manga club, and I just want to read books. <laughs> With this kind of tension, it feels like the relaxed atmosphere accumulated over the past few weeks is going to be sucked right out of the room. Oh, no, wait. That's Cthulhu absorbing all of existence. <laughs> Even Cthulhu's got a date to the prom. <laughs> yeah, he, he, like he's just eating a boy. <laughs> 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 Maybe we can try to come up with something that everyone can enjoy equally. Do you know, like we all vote on a book to read or something like that? I think we should all collectively try to expand our interests rather than just stick to the things we're familiar with. Why does it feel like I'm being targeted here? Get down! <laughs> 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 I think a little bullet hole smokes <laughs> in the wall right above her where she was standing. <laughs> oh my god! I just can't comfortably read in an atmosphere where the peace has been disturbed. No. Oh. Well, great. I'm just ruining the whole club then. That's not an accurate conclusion to make. I know. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of voicing my frustration. Dead, I guess, guilt. There is so much apologizing in this version <laughs> of Doki Doki. This really wasn't what I had in mind for a club about literature. I prefer Naruto! <laughs> Lost in thought, she reaches into one of the larger box sets and pulls out a volume, inspecting it for no particular reason. The cover features four girls striking cute and exaggerated poses, all dressed in short skirts. Yeah, I mean... Amused by the absurdity of the cover, Monica opens the book. She's, um, she's like, it's like full. She, oh, oh my god. Oh. I fucking love manga! <laughs> oh my gosh. She's even grateful that I even joined her stupid club. It's not like she can find any members. Monica's usually really nice. Oh shit, were you there the whole time? <laughs> oh, the whole time. She cares so much about everyone in the club being happy. Yeah, right. But well, she usually does. Until I mean, you joined. <laughs> <laughs> Get the hell out of here, you pink haired freak! <laughs> <laughs> what was the reason that you decided to join the literature club? Well, <laughs> not you, Cthulhu! <laughs> we know the reason for you! <laughs> yeah. We know that you wanted to be closer to humans to study their behavior in order to hunt them better. Yay. Yeah. Oh, I like writing too! Really? How come you didn't say that to Monica? Because! She's a bitch! <laughs> she whiz! She was being so judgmental that I just didn't. I just uh, I just want to tell her something she wanted to hear. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, Kasu, you can't use that word. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Not to keys with some friends who Monica doesn't recognize. But we didn't bother to draw them. Yeah, they're not. You'll never know. And they're they all, like. they're all energetically chatting together and stuff. You can imagine. Yeah. It would be really tactless to just interrupt them, so she does. Whoa, oh, whoa, oh, hey! Yeah, silhouette. Uh, oh yeah, did you end up training the literature <laughs> club or what? Great, great uh, voice, Aaron. Not to mention you couldn't have done it without us. That gives us a pass to joke about it. Yeah, sure. If I'd known we'd be doing all this talking, perhaps I would have given <laughs> this character a better voice. I'm so tired of being afraid of things I'm not comfortable with. I can't believe I hurt someone's feelings. Isn't that right, you dumb purple-headed skank? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so angry that her friends were treating her like that. I'm going to get them back for it. Get them back? Yeah. 
I'll get them back. By making sure that this is the literature club that Natsuki wants, not the one that they want. Also, I'll shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, Sayori bursts through the door, making Monica and Yuri jump. Someone shot friend one and friend two! <laughs> I really need to help it make... I, I really... <laughs> look at the look on Sayori's face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's just Cthulhu. Yeah. <laughs> you always sneak up on me. Sorry, I thought I'd be used to it by now. But <laughs> <laughs> that's something about that leathery octopus skin. <laughs> We're here. Welcome back. Oh, everyone's all together again. Yeah. Looks Mark. like an evolutionary chart. <laughs> what new lessons will the future hold for the literature club? Find out next time on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I'm actually into writing too. I'm kind of a pro, but I didn't want you to like me just for that. Wow, really? I really did have you all wrong, Natsuki. I thought you were illiterate and stupid. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Today's not about that anyway, right? It's about manga, so I hope you're ready. Now this is called hentai. Oh, very. Cthulhu, calm down. <laughs> yes, there are a lot of tentacles, actually. <laughs> 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 Can you follow me to the music room? To music room? Why? Well, you'll see. Um, beep, 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 beep. Whoa! Oh, hello! I've never seen this before. Am I being too entitled if I just want people to like me without me having to hide a bunch of stuff about myself? I don't think I am. Do you think I am? <laughs> Do you think I'm being irrational? Well, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even like music! Also, there's something else. Your execution. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Monica takes a breath. Uh, the thing is... I might have read a little bit of your manga. You what? <laughs> what the heck? You didn't. What the heck is going on <laughs> around here? I think it was some kind of weird fate. Because the character isn't just in a literature club, she also plays piano. It's just weird because I've always wanted to learn piano. I was hoping you would teach me. What the fuck you. I don't play piano. <laughs> I will kill you and absorb your talent. <laughs> she was like the perfect person that I always wish I was. If I just did what I wanted instead of always second guessing myself. You don't have to be perfect. No, I wanted to be a person. <laughs> <laughs> but I wrote a song for the club. And I worked really, really hard on it. Here goes. Ah! <laughs> That's nice. Kill all humans. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I'm also here. <laughs> and I'm, I'm here. here. Oh! <laughs> how did you get here? Wait, how did I get here? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll bring a little something for the club tomorrow. I want to do something nice in return. What kind of little something? Poison oh. cookies? <laughs> Poison cookies. <laughs> <laughs> if that wasn't clear. Oh, you'll see. But I don't think you'll be disappointed if you like poison <laughs> and death. The next club meeting ends up being a particularly tasty one. Cthulhu ate them all. <laughs> Monica, who has multiple literary interests, decided to focus her day on short stories. And finally... <laughs> And yeah, that, second to last, that was that was really the cross between Cthulhu and Tim Allen. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, which one should I pick? Number one. What? Fucking. <laughs> oh well, that depends on the kind of stuff you like. I mean, there's like romance, drama, comedy, mystery, hentai. You know. <laughs> I like all of those things. I know, me Good, because they're all different forms of hentai. <laughs> <laughs> Although I'm kind of impressed by your attention span if you put that much effort into her books. No, I have the attention span of a donut. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I love my friends, and I can do anything if it's for them. I mean, you'd kind of think a donut would have an incredibly long attention span because it wouldn't get distracted by anything else. <laughs> so it just is a donut. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, donuts like, look over there. What's that? Oh my god. Oh fuck. <laughs> well, okay then. I can't focus. <laughs> Natsuki yanks a book from the shelf and closes the closet doors. If someone else needs to stop, then you just need to stop. People need to realize that. I, I'm sorry. I Ding. Didn't, yeah, yeah. I really didn't mean to hurt you. Nah, sorry. Ding. <laughs> it wasn't you. Sayori looks at the title. It's called Love in Another World is Another Word for Luck. It's about a girl who keeps accidentally running into the same guys, and then you find out, like, those well, guys are all different tentacles of a giant monster. <laughs> well, you should just read it. But you have to tell me what you think. I can already guess who you're going to ship yourself with. It would be so funny if I'm right. Ship? I don't get it. <laughs> just use the captain around here. <laughs> Why would I ship myself anywhere? <laughs> Can you even imagine the price of shipping and handling on a human body? <laughs> I see you got Natsuki to share some of her manga with you. I really want to become better friends with her. She's so ex enthusiastic and expressive. I am a woman of respect. Like the last mission. Respect. <laughs> but Natsuki is a woman of cute. <laughs> oh, I said it. <laughs> 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 well, I'm gonna keep trying because I love her and I want to get closer to her. Uh, oh my god! I, I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> you, uh, you, you got this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because I love her and I want to spend the rest of my life with her. Is uh, what? Sayori slides the paper over to Natsuki. As Natsuki reads through the poem, she furrows her eyebrows. Mm. She slides the paper back over to Sayori. Not good. Don't you ever feel weird just sharing all of your thoughts and feelings like that? I mean, your poems are like really emotional. Is that bad? Well, no, it was just an observation. I think people can get closer to each other if they find ways of expressing their feelings. <laughs> I know you feel the same way, Cthulhu. <laughs> Well, we don't all have emotion tentacles. <laughs> we can just transfer our emotions to each other. Some people need poetry. <laughs> it's cool that you've been finding time to spend with Sayori. She was pretty excited for the chance to read manga with you. Yeah. I'm sure you've been enjoy I'm sure you've been enjoying the chance to share it too, right? Yeah. Mostly. Hmm. Natsuki glances over her shoulder but doesn't reply further. She could be anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting to jump out and apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I complain about it doesn't mean I'm asking for someone to solve my problems for me. True. But seriously, can you help? I'm sorry. Dang. <laughs> I guess I just instinctively want to try to solve problems, even if I haven't been invited to. It's fine. Jeez, this is Doki Doki Therapy Club. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my God, could this be any more different than the original game? <laughs> In our first playthrough of Doki Doki Literature Club, mm -hmm. I was like, if if we don't, you know, if the protagonist doesn't get to go out on a date, uh, it, it this is gonna be ridiculous. Like I thought, thought there was gonna be some kind of like awesome, awesome twist like that. <clears throat> um, and then, and then they all died. Right. And and it was so disturbing, and I felt so bad for all the characters and all that. Mm -hmm. Now. We have officially come full circle. And I'm like, if someone doesn't fucking die soon, <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm afraid of bothering Natsuki. I mean, I don't wanna go in. I'm afraid of bothering Natsuki. Oh, you definitely yeah. will. I saw her at lunch today, so I waited and called out to her, but instead of saying hi, she just ran away from me. Really? Sounds like there's some apologizing to be done. <laughs> hmm, not bad. <laughs> not bad. Hey! Sorry! Dang. I'm sorry! Dang. <laughs> that was a joke. I'm sorry! <laughs> I cherish my time alone. I wouldn't trade it for anything. In fact, <laughs> god damn you for talking to me. Yes. <laughs> I cherish my time alone. Get the hint, hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, well, you should probably be toddling off. <laughs> well, if I was trying to have alone time and it was being threatened by an interruption, then it would just not make me very happy. Yeah, but I don't see why we can't spend your alone time together. <laughs> <laughs> I think when establishing a friendship, oh, it's important to consider the comfort level of the other person. I have to go. 
<laughs> Boy, Sayori, I feel your facial expression. I mean... <laughs> Yuri turns and enters the club room. After a moment, Sayori follows. Did it smell like ass in here when we were here last time? <laughs> no, I think someone's been blowing ass. <laughs> Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> the club room is quiet. I'm Clark. I come in and I fart into the bathrooms <laughs> and then I leave. Wait, do you girls use this room? Sorry. I've been farting in it like every day for the past three years. That was you? <laughs> I just thought there was a pipe loose or something. No, I fart. It was like an open sewage leak into the room. <laughs> Natsuki fidgets and anxiously continues with a shaking voice. Oh, I feel like she's one of those like, like a like a like a pencil sharpener, and you just put the pencil in her mouth, and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not good with things that make me feel uncomfortable, like saying sorry, <laughs> especially dang, especially when it comes to like, like feelings and stuff. So. Face burning, mom spaghetti. Natsuki clams up again. <laughs> Instead of continuing, no. put the clams in the spaghetti. <laughs> Instead of continuing, she simply holds up a sheet of paper for Sayori to take. This is a restraining order. <laughs> I get scared. I press my arms against the loose hinges. Please don't break. Don't come in. I'm not ready. This is my best place in the world. Oh God! <laughs> no! The knocking won't stop. I block the door with furniture. <laughs> and I peek through the keyhole and I panic. I can see you. I'm trapped in the best place in the world. <laughs> wow. I was thinking it's silly that I just approach you all the time, and then I should just let you approach me when you want to. Just whatever makes you comfortable. I'll respect that from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Friendship <Sorry, laughs> should always start with those things. With the right balance. Oh, the and that's today's lesson. <laughs> yeah. The word of the day. God, it feels like they're both looking at you like, did you understand the lesson? <laughs> did you get it? This is my happy room or whatever. Stupid ass, only balance. You need it. More importantly, I have to tell you about my new boyfriend. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Oh. Oh, you wanted to enjoy it with me. Technical number four. That's so cute. Oh, shush. We should totally pick out a romance novel to read. That would be so much fun. Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> really? Even if it was just between us? Jesus. <laughs> Try asking someone who has no shame, like Natsuki. What the fuck? Ouch. Uh, so sorry, da ding. Hey, what are you talking about me? Sorry. I should get one of those mangas that's like 50 volumes long so I could say I've read more than you. Ah! Not that I have the money for that. <laughs> like you, you rich asshole. <laughs> Please, that would hardly count when your books only have a few words per page. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I can never actually read books like yours. It's too boring for me. Yuri shouts a shout. Yuri shoots a glare at Natsuki. <laughs> it's not boring. Chill, I said for me, not you. I can have my own opinion. I just think it's too convoluted. Say you're sorry. I'm sure I can help Natsuki find some common ground with you. Common ground isn't necessary. I just wish to be respected. You'll have to earn respect in the ring. <laughs> Mortal <Cut! laughs> I'm sure we're going to have differences in opinions a lot, so I need to make sure we're prepared to keep a positive atmosphere in the club. Okay, how about your favorite fruit? That's easy. Cherries. That's a berry. Really? I always thought cherries tasted nasty. What? <laughs> I'm leaving! Well, I just don't understand how somebody could think cherries are nasty. Maybe uh, you're nasty! <laughs> <laughs> Stupid green-eyed whore! <laughs> I'm only suggesting it as a tool to help you turn your differences into a positive experience, rather than an argument. Right, Sayori? Whatever you say, cherry hater! <laughs> oh, come on with the cherry shit! Sayori, I actually like cherries. I was just saying that to help demonstrate. What the heck? So you're also a fucking liar? <laughs> <laughs> so now that we have the gist of it, how about we try it with something more relevant to the club? 
like manga, right? Let's try to have a productive discussion about our differences in opinion. Let's just have a common rational discussion. Mortal Kombat! <laughs> I'm not clueless about manga. I read it all the time. I read my own fair share, or I've read my own fair share, when I was younger. What? Are you serious? How come you never told me? Because I'm past that point in my life, and I really prefer not to revisit it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I prefer more mature things now. I used to murder people while I read manga. That's as mature as it gets. Well, maybe it's immature to judge people for having different tastes than you. That's okay. <laughs> Nobody's immature! <laughs> Stop being so immature! Nobody's immature! <laughs> Please stop! Please! <laughs> you don't mean the things you're saying right now! Let's just be friends! Fred. Fred! Uh, I didn't mean for this to happen. Well, it did. <laughs> and it's all your fault. So please don't invite yourself to try to solve other people's problems next time, okay? I think we're on the second to last story. Is that correct? I don't remember. In the the last story better be a fucking first person shooter. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri have always engaged with each other over the, uh, the least out of anyone. And this is the reason. As Sayori and Natsuki proceed to distract themselves with manga, Monica sighs to herself, unable to shake her worried thoughts. What do you think, Cthulhu? <laughs> that is so insightful. Will the club really have to just come? We should kill them. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine, like, somebody coming in and just being like, Hi, I want to join the literature club. And they're all like, I'm just going to join the music club. It's okay to have feelings. No, it's not. <laughs> it doesn't make you weak. Yes, it does. Let's figure this out together. No, we can't! <laughs> <laughs> what part of the conversation made you upset? Um, I don't know. The part where she said I'm stupid? Was it Yuri being mean about the manga? No! <laughs> it was another thing! <laughs> <laughs> I just keep running away from the, the reality that everyone's just a jerk to me because nobody likes me. And I don't know why, and I don't know what to do about it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I hate it. Natsuki, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes, at the same time of communication, it feels like you magically connect with them. But other times, sometimes, if both people are really nice, it's easy for them to miss a communication wrong! I said that your nice struggles with a lot too! <laughs> Jeez. Everyone here needs therapy. <laughs> Just everyone. Yeah. But I'm terrible for feeling that way. You're not terrible. She's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you are not your feelings. But you are not your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Does that help you understand? Um, how do you know so much about this stuff? Oh, I killed myself in another timeline. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Makes you think about a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a roommate that can be really hard to get along with. Called depression. God damn it, Sayori, don't make me look like an <laughs> asshole. You're not mad at me? Well, I didn't say that. <laughs> You're gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I don't think Natsuki hates you. How do you know? I don't fucking know. I'm just trying These to make you feel These people should not better. be in a club together. Yeah. It's been like one week and they've had like three years worth of shit happen. Yuri shakes her head at herself and tugs on her hair. <laughs> it's, a, it's okay, Yuri. Why does it do that? <laughs> That's just what happens when I draw attention to myself. Well, then draw something else. Like a bear? <laughs> yeah, you can draw a bear. I will draw a bear. Natsuki even said she found it more respectable when people speak their mind. So I did, and then she hated me anyway. That was enough to confirm my fears. That bears are everywhere. <laughs> Just draw the bear, show it to Natsuki, and everything will be fine. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this for fucking thing? <laughs> is this like a horse or something? <laughs> You're terrible at drawing. <laughs> but, but everybody hates you. <laughs> <laughs> Especially.
especially me. <laughs> I can't stand it when the piece is disturbed like this. Yeah, you can't focus on your reading when the piece is disturbed, right? Because I, because, because, because of the wonderful what? things I chose. <laughs> la la la. la. <laughs> <laughs> the, the literature club should be happy for everyone. Because of the wonderful things I does. <laughs> Monica pulls Yuri into a short embrace. You're so gentle. And I love when you communicate your feelings. Locking on. <laughs> <laughs> Downloading all memories. Yeah. <laughs> Fingerprints acquired. <laughs> Erasing source data. <laughs> Friendships happen when you think about the other person. When you offer time and effort to understand them and respect them and trust that. Uh, they also want to be a good person. I mean, where did this come from? I don't know. I mean, these are all good lessons, but good God, man, my head is spinning. Uh, that's what I learned through my observations in the literature club. Observations? Yes, I've been a sleeper agent this whole time. <laughs> I'm the mole. <laughs> from the debate club. <laughs> I'm hunting Cthulhu. <laughs> Yuri, what a surprise to see you during lunch. Yuri squeaks a response. Yeep. Please help me. They're after me. Yeah. Cthulhu is harder to fight than I thought. <laughs> He's coming! Vodica briefly glances over her shoulder at her other friends. Do you want some help? We can go find an empty classroom or something. Cthulhu's one of the friends sitting at the lunch table. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't fish that juice box? <laughs> Cthulhu, I didn't even say you could. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? Yeah. Cthulhu eats the student. <laughs> oh my oh, god! Oh, oh, hey! Hey, you're left-handed? That's neat. Oh man, so am I. Uh, yeah. Now I don't have to worry about bumping your arm. You, no, don't. That's my nervous hair twirling arm. <laughs> yeah. I feel embarrassed all of a sudden from thinking. <laughs> nah, it's okay. I'm making eyes once again. Yeah, when her eyes move, it, it, it does feel robotic, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> the key question is why we act like this towards each other, but have been able to separately be friends with Sayori and Monica. Oh. That's me. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Monica gives Yuri's hand a quick squeeze. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was too hard. But as she lets go, I forget you're so fragile. Those human creatures. Ah. <laughs> now that I'm actually putting it on paper, I realize I'd really prefer others not to read it. Including you. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Transforming. <laughs> Combat mode. Yeah, like ju just a giant tank with a Monica head on the end of it. Oh god! I can't- I can't believe I came to this club looking for fantasy geeks and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. <laughs> Real friends who value me. Make me look like a pineapple. <laughs> is that a joke? Of course it is. <laughs> you have to be some kind of weird synthetic life form not to get that. No, oh, you are so right. I still can't tell with you. Oh. Is that it? That's it. That's reflection. Wait. Now it's time for self love. But that was that wasn't a conclusion. Yeah, it was. The, she had a uh, like a personal breakthrough. Oh, I guess this final one is them. Where all the killing starts. I hope so. Because this staircase is under maintenance, no student would have any reason for coming here. It's such a relaxing feeling to have a moment of solitude in the middle of a frantic school day. Ah, I just came to get a drink from the vending machine, you freak. I knew it. The other one is out of the drink I like. Piss. <laughs> D4. Piss. <laughs> well, I can leave if you want. Yuri shakes her head. Natsuki twists the cap off her drink and takes a sip. The end. Yeah, I know, but that was a weird pause. Oh, you're here again. Well, I just came here to read this. Uh, because you aren't- there aren't any people around here. The book is drinking piss for dummies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you didn't like how quiet it was. Well, I don't, but there's no people here. I see. So you're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I feel like the me from a few years ago would have benefited from a good smack across the face. Oh, whatever! We were all just stupid kids back then anyway! Do it, smack me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm sorry? Natsuki raises her hand to her face and forcefully slaps her own cheek. Now you try. <laughs> That's me from the future, coming to terms with me right now. Well, you from the future is crazy. 
<laughs> yeah, Yuri doesn't seem to react. And violent. <laughs> but then, to Natsuki's surprise, Yuri shyly looks the other way before lifting her arm and doing the same thing to herself, loudly smacking her cheek. Is this supposed to be a sweet moment? <laughs> yeah. Another day has passed. Natsuki's pencil neck is pencilier than ever. <laughs> Whoa! It's getting a little heavy today. It's like a little bobblehead doll. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about it. I'm just gonna drink my pee. It's okay. I like pee. <laughs> listening. What? Listening to other people's problems? No. You should have stopped at listening to other people's <laughs> pee. <laughs> well, Sayori really likes your baking. She does? And she makes you laugh. No, she doesn't. And she complains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we can all agree on that. Sayori? <laughs> <laughs> I was here the whole time. <laughs> I was drinking piss quietly in the corner. <laughs> you drink piss too? <laughs> That's not gonna change anything now. <laughs> well, unlike them, she's a nice person who cares about your feelings. Excuse me? What about you? How about How you? How about you don't talk that way about my friends that you don't know anything about? Natsuki stands up. No, wait. I'm sorry, Dig. I didn't mean it. I didn't want to say something bad. Please don't leave. <laughs> Not this. <laughs> it's playing Splatoon 2. It's so weird because I always thought of myself as someone who can just say whatever's on my mind. But I feel like that only works when I'm annoyed or upset or I want to say something mean or when I want to talk or when something's on my mind. Why am I like that? <sighs> you don't have to answer that. I'm just talking to myself. I can answer it. Yuri nods and remains silent. Natsuki notices her fidgeting with the pages of her book. How come you like reading so much? It's like so stupid! <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> well, a lot of reasons, but I just get sucked into it so easily. <laughs> uh, here I go again! Uh, <gasps> it's a reading rainbow! No! <laughs> do you ever, do you ever wish that you could be friends with the characters in your books? All the time. That's stupid. Sometimes. Sometimes so badly that it makes my heart ache. Glad I shared that. <laughs> yeah, me too. Really? No, of course not. It's fun. You're a freak. A lot. After Natsuki mutters that, silence fills the stairwell once more. You to finish that piss? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. It's, I don't even like it. The it's final funny. chapter. I can get that, though. Last I chance for people to die. My, one of my favorite mangas is Hikaru no Go, mm -hmm. and I, I reread it somewhat recently, and when I finished it, I literally, like, was depressed for the entire day, because I, it felt like my friends had, like, left to move to another town or yeah. something. Yeah. Don't you find it strange that this is the finale? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well... No, I really feel like this is building towards something huge. <laughs> As she sits down, Natsuki opens the lid of her container. Oh, this has gone bad. You made cupcakes. I made cupcakes! <laughs> it's been a while at this point, so I figured it was about time again. It's been a while <laughs> since I made cupcakes. <laughs> you can take one if you want! <laughs> <laughs> Yuri takes a cupcake and carefully twirls it between her fingers. Holy shit, that was amazing! <laughs> Don't twirl them! <laughs> this is green tea flavored. Mm -hmm. I love green tea. Oh! Do you? It was just a random idea I wanted to try, so... Wow, yeah, no one's ever done it before. <laughs> ah. Don't laugh at me. I'm... I'm not. Sorry, I just <laughs> felt happy. Sorry for feeling happy. Oh, sorry, Ding. Sorry that I thought you felt sorry when you were happy. Usually when... Never mind. What I mean is that I'm glad. Sorry for saying dumb things again. No, I'm sorry that you're sorry that I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry that you're sorry that I'm sorry that you were sorry about me being sorry. I just wanted to do something nice, and I fucked it all up, and I'm out of here, kid! Sorry. It's like baking is like art, but when you get good at it, it gets more delicious, too. You're such a sussy baker. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were for making you happy. You make me happy. Well, fuck you, too! You're worth more than cupcakes to some people. What, you don't like my cupcakes? That's what, yeah, that's what you should have taken away from that. I'm so difficult, and I can't think of even a single thing about myself that somebody would like, except that I'm cool and awesome and I'm a great baker. Fred. And I hated myself for f bothering you during lunch. Yeah, I know, I was so busy. And you know how to make people laugh. Look at all the laughing I'm doing right now. 
and you're very passionate about things, and you know how to take the lead, and you care a lot about other people. <laughs> well, now you're making me feel really embarrassed. Well, you're the one who asked. Well, you're the one who said it. Shithead, and don't you think I feel embarrassed? Man, fuck you. <laughs> I'm scared they'll hurt me for going against them. Physically? Not physically. What the hell? But Yuri clenches her fists. Natsuki, I'm going to punch you. <laughs> what? If anyone even thinks to cause you harm, I will fucking kill them. I will find- I will <laughs> unleash hell upon them. That's better than what I was gonna say. But there's also something satisfying about letting a story conclude. I don't know if I'd want it to go on forever. Wow, this is pretty meta, eh? Yeah. But there are some things that I wish could. On the other hand, have you ever read something that overstayed its welcome? <laughs> no. Yuri looks at Natsuki and realizes that she's shaking. Are you, like, taking off or something? <laughs> Lift off! <laughs> Don't look at me like Yeah, her, like, figure rumbles and then slowly <laughs> moves upwards. Sorry, ding. Natsuki pulls her knees into her chest and puts her head down. I'm floating once again. I can't take this. I ended it. I texted them earlier telling them. And then I just blocked them because I'm so afraid of their responses. And now it feels like I'm dying inside. Oh. Help me. Oh, shit. I feel sick and I want to hit my head against things. Please help! I can't take this! You may be having a panic attack. Oh! Natsuki meekly nods through her rapid breath, head still buried in her knees. <laughs> Yuri slides herself over to Natsuki and sits on the step behind her. Then she puts her hands on Natsuki's shoulders. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> it's the anxiety coming it's, out. It's just when I panic. I, I panic fart. You're safe right now. You're in a good and safe place, where nothing can hurt you. <laughs> Natsuki nods <laughs> once more, although he's only touching Natsuki's shoulders. Let's breathe in now. <laughs> okay, actually, take, hold off a second before breathing. <laughs> they exhale together. Although Natsuki's breath shakes on the way out. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> Let's keep going. Yuri breathes in once more, and Natsuki joins her. They <laughs> 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 continue like that for a few more cycles. I don't think I. Don't think I could have gotten through that alone. I would have died. You're not alone. The demons are here. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling shy again, Yuri speaks into her own lap. <laughs> Get out of here, Cthulhu. <laughs> this is our spot. From now, <laughs> from now on, you don't have to do anything alone. <laughs> Cthulhu and I will always be here for you. Who's just trying to get pissed at us? Demonstrating that you deserve the love of others. If you can accept that for the first time, then perhaps you can begin the tumultuous journey of learning to love yourself. Aww. I know a good ice cream place. Oh. That means you'll finally figure out my favorite ice cream flavor. Mm. Piss. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? That's my favorite flavor! What? P.S. Oh, you don't remember? The first day that you came to the club, you guessed everyone's favorite ice cream flavor. But for me, you said you had no idea. It's P.S. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> this is very sweet. I will say, I think it's I think it's a pretty big deal to see somebody dealing with somebody having a panic attack in media. It's great. I think it helps to have something to look forward to. <laughs> Like how thick that ice cream's gonna get this juicy booty, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and the two girls continue their conversation through the remainder of lunch, but a new feeling hangs in the air, a feeling of greater certainty in their path forward. In just a few hours, there will be another literature club meeting, where the four club members will happily spend time together. Each of them, all with their own special qualities, have something unique that they can deliver to one another, except mostly Sayori. <sighs> Through friendship and literature, the club members will continue to grow and find new happiness together. What could possibly go wrong? At the end of each chapter is the start of the next. Duh. Well, that was that. That was adorable. 
And this is all, they're all friends now. Yeah. They didn't kill each other. Now let's replay the original. Y- yeah, let's, let's ruin this all. Watch them all die. Oh.